Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play Suikoden 5. Alright, the Sun Palace is under attack. Alright, we've already had to fight one assassin off. We have to, uh, I guess, go out and see how everybody else is doing. Alright, so before we head out there, I have made some changes here. Uh, as far as... let's do this the quick way. Um, as far as CI leads goes, I've got attack and long throw equipped on her. Um, and as for equipment goes, this is what she's got set up. I've got some medicine and a sacrificial jizo equipped on her. Uh, the, Two key po uh, components of that setup there. Uh, for Leon, I've got attack and agility equipped there, and this is her uh, equipment setup right here. Again, another sacrific sacrificial Jizo. And as for Frey, I've got attack and agility equipped because that's what he's had so far, uh, throughout the game so far, and this is what he has equipped. So, all right, sacrificial Jizos all around. Anyways, um, as far as formation goes. I've re-equipped the double arm ta tactic since uh, Frey and Leon do not miss when they uh, come, uh, do their co-op. I figured this would be the best way to go. And uh, all right, so there we go. All right, let's go. Alright, let's go. And yes, there are random battles now in the, uh, the halls. Well, we are facing Godwin soldiers. There's an archer and a swordsman there. The archer tends to go for the back row, but sometimes he doesn't. So, anyways, um, I just send him out. There we go. I think the uh, soldiers have, I think they've got like 250 hit points or so, something like that. 200 to 250 or something like that. Good job. Let's finish him off. Or I could just miss. There we go. Alright. We're on a roll. Heal up. Uh, oh, definitely free. There we go. Let's go. Whoa. Uh, chills. Well, we're still standing here. We're still alive, so I guess she must be in control of it. All right, let's go. Too late? He only has one wound. A fatal one. We're not dealing with any amateurs here. <laughs> I'd say that fellow was a little too weak, that's all. Uh, Kildrick! Well, well. Hello there. I'm glad to see you've saved us the trouble of coming to get you. But why are you... <sighs> I get it now. You never were a gladiator in the first place, were you? <laughs> Very perceptive of you. At the Sacred Game Finals, you had to go and interrupt me just when we were getting to the very best part. I've been hoping to get the chance to thank you for that, you know. <laughs> Back off! Now I see. You're the reason our Dark Arcanum didn't work, aren't you? Don't you remember me? I guess I really shouldn't be surprised. We were just little kids back then. But I remember you, Misma. Uh, Mikafu! No, that's impossible! So you do remember me then? <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. Imagine that, a Queen's Knight's Apprentice, His Royal Highness's bodyguard, one of our old friends! Leon, what are these guys talking about? Prince! Lady Sialit! Hurry! Huh? Run! <laughs> Not so fast. Alright, 
Alright, this is probably the most difficult boss battle we've had to face thus far, and not just because of the hit points. Uh, both of them, Dolph and Kildrake, both have 950 hit points, and they both have fairly high physical defense and magic defense. Uh, in this case, there's one catch to this. I, this game, th this fight is actually, I think it's not necessarily meant to be won, but it is very possible to do it as long as you're as long as you know what you're doing kind of thing, as long as you get it set up properly. Alright, so what the one thing you got to keep in mind is that Dolph, he only attacks Leon for as long as she is alive. So that's part of the reason why she's got the sacrificial Jesus on it. And the, if Leon dies, it'll be within the first two rounds. Um, so there we go, that's why I've got that equipped there. However, uh, he's also got the lowest defense of the two. Uh, Kildrick has the higher the higher defense, but he attacks randomly. So he attacks, I think, the lowest the person with the lowest HP. So you might be thinking, well, you know, obviously you want to you know attack the you want to take out the one that you know, or you want you want to keep the the damage spread out. Well, we've only got one healer in Psy leads, and that's what she'll be doing. That's why she's got the medicine. I will be using medicine because it the charge time for that is much quicker. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. So let's. Uh, well, first round, let's just have him go all out on Kildrick. Here we go. But yeah, if uh, Sylade's reached level 19 for you and you were able to uh, recharge her, uh, her stay at the end or something like that, I would actually recommend using the first turn there, using the uh, the shredding spell there. You'd be able to use it once, and you'd be able to do well, you'd be able to do about 250 damage in total. Uh, split up between uh, Kildrick and Dolph, so that's usually a good idea. Alright, so we've already uh, got to heal Leon there. Let's do that and just send him after Kildrick again. Here we go! Nice. Alright, uh, and. Let's. Hmm. Who's more important? Well, I know he's, she's gonna get hit, so let's yeah, let's heal her up, and then I'll worry about uh, fray next round if I need to. Here we go. One more round should do it. Ooh, glad I did that. All right, this should do it. Get fray healed up, because this should kill Kildrick. All right. Yeah. As soon as you take down one of them, the battle becomes much more manageable. All right. Let's do this. Oh, still gotta heal up though. And there we go. Here we go. Sweet. All right. Send him at him. All out. Here we go. Oh, this attack. This might be the last round. Here we go. And there he goes. We won. And for winning that battle, you get a nice hefty 4,000 posh, 40 party experience, and a prosperity piece. The prosperity rune, when you get four pieces of it and you put it together, it actually, when you equip it, it actually doubles the amount of posh you earn during battle, so a very valuable drop there. So, alright, let's go.
Can't leave mother and limb. a little time. Alright, let's see. We got there's a guy in our party here, and time to change our formation again, and looks like we're going back to the standard one, because there we go. Alright, let's do that, and we're good to go there. Um, uh, oh yeah, and there's a guy. He's got the uh, combat trainer ability as well. Alright, is there anything I want to train? I can train. Uh, yeah, might as well train that up. And free oh, technique. Silence attack. There we go. Awesome. Alright, anything else? Uh, ooh, heal up. Alrighty, we're good to go. Let's go. still doing here what about you aren't you supposed to be with Arstad and Farad George the Queen and Farad they're dead what but Farad no how can that be George, you were with them! How? I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry, but there's no time to grieve now. The Sun Palace is about to fall. You've got to get out. Wait. Just a minute. If Arstadt is dead, then that means the Sun Rune must have gone back to the Sealed Room. That means, if Godwin gets a hold of it... Kyle went to the Sealed Room for us. All you have to do is concentrate on getting the hell out of here. What about Lim? Don't worry, she's alright. Miyaki's and Galleon are with her. Leave Lim to them. No, I have to at least save Lim.
Alright. It's returning to the sealed room. It's true then. Arstad. Princess, please hurry. I'm trying, but where are my mother and father? Galleon, weren't you with them? Princess. Uh, wh what's the matter? Zahok! Elenia! What are you two doing here? Princess, stay back! Uh, what's going on? Hello, Princess. And where might you be going? What? Oh, no! <sighs> Dead. What? Tell me what's going on here! You're the ruler of Sun Palace now, Princess. We can't just let you leave now, can we? Why are you...
to Lunas. You should rest too, Leon. Oh, yes, sir. I'll be on my way. <laughs> 